Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're enjoying the Masters. Some great golf on there, isn't that epic? Tiger Woods coming back, just absolutely fantastic golf and that to watch and it's going to be a great Masters. I got my uh, 212 Masters uh, t-shirt on here today. I'm going to kind of celebrate. Hey, does anybody know who won the 212 Masters? You know, throw that into the content, uh, into the comments below and let me know and uh, we'll have some fun with that. But Now, one thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, with these big events, there's a plethora of detailed swing analysis in terms of what all these players are doing and particularly their impact positions, you know, and they're showing all these angles and positions these guys are in and, you know, they take these stop action pictures, these little snippets in time of the player's motion and we have to remember it's a motion, it's a swing motion and, you know, the great Ben Hogan said, you know what, impact is, re is a result of everything you did prior to that. And I often think back to what the great George Knudsen talked about, you know, the, the golf swing's a, gr a powerful, graceful dance and it's a flowing motion. It's not a bunch of little, you know, tick, 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 put a little bit of pieces in there and freeze your impact position. And, that can really cause a lot of problems. And, and in, your impact position is a result of everything you've done before that. And a good impact position is going to mean good, solid ball striking. You're going to hit good, solid shots, and you'll be more consistent. But so many golfers, you know, they try to, you know, oh, I'm going to work on my leg. I'm going to work on my impact position. But you've got to work on the overall motion, and that takes care of that. So I'm going to show you a very simple, effective drill here that's going to help your overall swing motion and your impact position so you can have that nice flowing graceful golf swing that repeats and consistent so just let me demonstrate to this you don't even need a golf club so this is a warm-up you can do anywhere you can do it at home as part of your golf routine do it in your backyard you know do it on the range prior to play it's a really good fantastic drill so let's get teaching mat here now i'm going to take my golf stance going to be up in my posture here just going to hang my arms out in front of me here and one thing with impact that players really struggle with is that the arms outrace the body and they end up scooping so they end up in this chicken wing position and they end up you know backing up and coming up out of it so you get terrible contact when you do that if you watch all the good players they're, they're in these magnificent positions where they're you know they've maintained their posture right you know they've got this hip rotation they're on their lead side and you know they've got this great arm extension and that hands leaving the club head, and that's a reaction to motion. So I'm going to stand here in my golf posture, here, and then I'm going to take my right, my, I'm right handed, so my, my right arm is my trail arm, I'm going to put that across my lead arm here, and I'm going to practice turning to the top. So what this does, it prevents my arms from just racing around me with no body pivot and turn. So I do this, and then I do a good active backswing and it forces me to pivot and rotate back. So you can see I get this great pivot and rotation into my trail side here to the top of the backswing. And what we want with that pivot, I want to do a little counter push toward the target, you know, that forward lean you see a lot of players do. And then I push back to the right. So it's almost like a little slight slide and I push down and turn up as I make that pivot. So pushing down into that trail foot and rotating up and having that trail arm under there really helps to facilitate that good body rotation and turn. So now I'm in that good loaded backswing position. So now it's much easier to go back, you know, move from the ground up to go through and have that good swing motion right through the ball. And, you know, to make that transition, well, when I have my right arm underneath my left, I go back, well, I can't do this classic, like, you know, the, the casting fishing position so many people do, where they're just going to throw their arms out at it, you know, here, rotate back, so how am I going to get back, well, I'm going to move from the ground up, move from right to left, I'm into my lead side, now I'm going to push and turn, and now look at this impact position I'm in, great extension here, flat lead wrist, wrist, wrist. I'm into my left side, my hips are starting to open up and then rotate up and through. So you notice when I come through, I'm in my posture still. Here, I'm in that classic position. Here, rotate and then up and through. Fantastic drill to help you with your golf swing pivot and, and your impact position. Here, and you'll feel that rotation and that your arms can't move unless your body turns. So it's great for ingraining that pivot action. Here. And through. One more. And then do your other side. You know, 
know, it's always good to do your opposite side too as well. Get some symmetry to the motion. Maybe it'll feel awkward and whatever. It doesn't really matter. You're just trying to open up the other side, feel that action, and rotate through. You know, and then you're ready to go. You, you know, if you're swinging, you're hitting some balls, you know, you can pull out a club and try to feel that action again, doing that same thing. Go you know, back and through and make a swing. See what, what we got here today. Not too bad to get started with. So give that drill a try. Enjoy the Masters. Have some fun. Let's play some golf.